Allison, aka Fashion Girl from I Love to Create, and I'm here today to show you how to pull off tie-dye, mess-free, quick and easy with my super secret tie-dye setup station. First and foremost, you want to start off with the tulip surface cover. This thing is fabulous because it covers any work surface, so in the rare chance that you do get a little splash here or there, you won't have any disaster with your table. Secondly, of course you're going to put on your gloves. Don't forget that tie-dye dyes anything that's natural, and that includes your skin. So unless you want really cute green fingers, I suggest you put on the gloves. Third, you're always going to want to wear a fashionable apron. I chose this one today, and if you want to find out how to make it, you can go to ilovetocreate.com. But back to tie-dye. We're going to mix our dye. I've already mixed one color there. But it's very easy, so whether you're doing this alone in the home or you're hosting a party, just get a huge pitcher of water and you can easily, and again, mess free, fill up your dye bottle, make sure the cap, make sure it's on all the way, shake, and you want to look to make sure that all of the dye is dissolved from the bottom. And you can tell when the bottle is clear when you turn it. So we've got both dye colors. The key to this is to get a tall bucket. I've used short buckets before, but that does tend to give you a splash. So you want a nice, tall bucket. These we just picked up at the hardware store, and of course we had to paint them to make them a little bit extra special. Lay one or two paper towels in the very bottom. This is gonna collect any excess dye, so you don't have just dye rolling around inside your bucket. So you've just got a paper towel at the bottom, and I've already rubber band my t-shirt. Now, you can do dye techniques a number of different ways, but I suggest that you just dip in the water, squeeze out the excess water, and lay directly inside your bucket. Again, all the way at the base. And then it's just as easy as applying your dye. One color at a time, multiple colors, you can do as much as you want. The great thing is you can do just about any tie-dye technique in the bucket. So as you can see, there's very little mess, and I'm just moving from section to section. Then, when I've got one side complete, I'll turn it over and do the exact same thing. Always have paper towels on hand. This is another key to your success. A thick paper towel will wipe up just about anything, including dye. So wipe off your gloves. This is really important to wipe off your gloves to get off any extra residue. From here, it's just as simple as a Ziploc bag. I'm just going to take my wet dye, place in the Ziploc. Again, wipe your hands so that you're not getting dye on the outside of the bag. Zip it up. And you can send this home with a child. You can send it home with an adult. But no matter what, you have no leakage. And you have a mess-free tie-dye experience. Be sure to check out this technique and more at ilovetocreate.com.